Greetings and welcome everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Nancy Drew! And we're gonna start up here. The recording went great, so we're gonna start off here at A Night in the Woods. And bam, right back into it. No load times or anything. Awesome. Okay, so when last we left off, we were trying to find our way to the cemetery, since that's where I was told to go. And apparently that's where the Malone dogs are, even though they were never... Oh, wait a minute! That- look at- what the fuck is this bullshit? What is up with this fucking map? North is- what is with this compass? Oh, that's bullshit. Who the fuck draws a map like this? Who the fuck draws- I guess this is because you're- that's so dumb. I, 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 I get it. That's so that you can, when you're heading from the back of the house, you can orient yourself easier. But that's still so dumb. I have never fucking once seen a map that did not have north as up. Oh, that's, that's incredibly dumb. Okay, so we are at the intersection right now, and we want to go to the cemetery. Which means we, looking at this... We want to go left, and then the next right, and then the next left. So, this left, and right, then right again, then left, then left again, because we're making a kind of square shape. Okay, so here's our intersection. All in oh, she's writing notes! Oh, clever girl! The fallen tree. He, apparently, no, 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 no. Okay, so she's writing down landmarks for me. That That's smart. That's good, Nancy. Um, so there's our fallen tree. So we want to go this way. And then, yeah, I don't like the fact that when I, I point in a direction, it, it takes me immediately in that direction. It doesn't, like, reorient me. And then forward is forward. That that bugs me a little bit as far as that control setting, but... Log. Okay, that's the... A, a log is a fallen tree, Nancy. Um, but we want to go... We want to put away the fucking key. And we want to go left. Right. Left. Um, yellow ribbon? Huh. Weird. Okay, stone pillar I feel like we're gonna get to eventually, but let's keep going on our way here. Back to the key, Nancy. Nancy really likes that key. She really wants it. Alright. And now we want to go... South, which is actually west. Put, Nancy, put that fucking key over. Um. Uh, oh, wait. Uh. Nancy, put the key away. Here, here, here. Oh, wait. Yeah, we found it. We got it. We got this. We got this. Alright. Uh, Piffin, Piffin Path. Credity Cosmo Cranky. Interesting. Goodness, Oma Pearl. Can I look at the other ones? Yeah, I can. Wal hey, we found Waldo! Everyone praise, we found him! We found Waldo. He couldn't hide forever. Snooky! Oh, beloved dog. What if that was one of the hounds? Alright, then we got marbles. We're so sorry to have lost you. Cute. Uh, stretch. Ace Royal. Dench. Dench as a Royal. I feel like I'm reading that wrong, and that's a joke. Okay. Oh, here are the hounds. Lucy. Iggy. Let 
We got Vitus and Xander. Okay, the fact that there's an X in the name makes me think that these are going to be a code. So V X L I L. Looks like paw prints. Uh oh, we found the Blues Clues. There's a lot of them. Oh, we can just go right in. Awesome. Uh, nothing we can seem to do here, though. I can use my handy gloves. Nope. What about our key? Nope, key is useless. Alright, so, um... I guess we have successfully found our way through the Lost Woods. Now we just have to find our way back. Should be relatively easy. Okay, and we're out. Um... That was significantly harder to get out of than it was to get into. Uh, sorry about that. Alright, uh, oh, blue tarp, actually. I want to check that out. Can I? Put the key away, Nancy! Hello. See this before. I got a plank of wood! Uh, those look too rotten. Um, I have wood now. Get wood, get wood. It's, it's, it's... It, okay. That... Obviously, I will need that at some point. We're back at that era of adventure games where... Okay, um, we're... we're oh, wait, 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 go back, back, back. This, hello. Ah! A key, maybe. Or not. Okay, not a key. Air gloves? Um... What? No. Um... Be our handy pen. Nope. Okay. Well, um, I'm kind of floundering around here right now. I get the feeling I should prop. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. This is that same. Um, it's the same. Oh, wait a minute. Wait. What? Okay, um, I'm gonna take you through my thought process on this a little bit here because, so this is the same as it is on the, uh, on this. It's the same compass. Um, I don't understand why. Um, unless there's something to do with this is some kind of trick. There may, there may be some kind of trick to that, but I'll come back to you later. But for right now... Um, I think our plan should be to get to bed. Because I don't know that we're supposed to look into all this right now, because they, they were kind of saying, you know, it's it's night, just go back in there and sleep until dawn. So that's what we're going to do after we turn around all the way. So let's wake up in the AM. Yay! Alright, it is now a new day, and uh, we have plenty of things to do. Sure. And the birds are singing... Day is happy. There are no dogs. Let's go ahead and call some people. Um, okay. Another thing, interesting thing I noticed is that it looks like a rotary phone. This is, in fact, a push-button phone. And you have to actually dial the numbers. So let's go ahead and call... Um, let's call Sally again, see if she's going to pick up since it's a new day. Maybe she got to the, her ants and recharges. So 5, 5, 5, 5, 3, uh, 8, 9... Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy. Hey! Did you, see them? did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. Like thunderbolts and okay lightning. You, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. <sighs> I have such high hopes for that house. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. And probably also your career, considering how much money you sunk into this. 
Okay, I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. When was the first time you saw the dogs? Let's find out everything. I need you to tell me everything you I'm can about I'm willing to bet she's going to say what the first time They're was, too. And they have yellow glowing eyes, and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? You automatically ask it. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance. But I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. Um, when they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Did they always come around the same time, or did it vary? Um, which one of these is more in- uh, let's go with- Did when they always they do the appeared, same thing? Did they always do the we'll same ask both thing? of these questions, yes, but- come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography. With big it's dance numbers, we're talking Broadway! You're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. It's kind of like Scooby-Doo, but in reverse. My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. That's all we had the budget for. Uh, which three people? About River Heights, can you think of anyone who would want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? Um, which three people? Which three people? Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Red Knot. I run He's into living on your property. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something... I swear, those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. Okay, um, so those are our three casts of characters, I'm guessing. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone who'd want you to sell your house and move back there? If I'm staying here a while, is there anything that I should know about the place? Uh, do you think I should call about getting rid of that tree? Um, uh, how about getting your water tester? These are all really good questions, but I want to get more about, is there any fourth person we may be considering here? What about here? River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> you mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? Nope, I sure can't. Okay, so we have our squ our resident squatter, our uh, busybody um, park ranger, and the store owner as our three main uh, characters here. I guess our three suspects. That sounds about right. I can't imagine us having too many... There's never too many characters in a Nancy Drew game. Voice acting costs money. But, uh, let's just move along with the questions. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Oh, uh, so this is why you really called me out here. Some of the floorboards are so rotten, you could fall right through. Really? And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling-type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. Hmm. Uh, did you say I should call... Uh, who did you say I should call about getting rid of that tree? Let's just go down the list. Who did you say I should call about getting rid of that tree? Emily Griffin. She doesn't bother answering her phone sometimes, so don't call her. Semicolon. Go see her. Her store's on the west side of the lake. Embrace yourself. M's Emporium is something else. Ooh, this ought to be fun. Uh, how well do you know her? How well do you know her? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates, which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. Okay, um... Oh, just automatically... Oh, no, there it is. Uh, how do I get your water tested, even though I already know this one? We're just I going do down the list, because you never know what you might learn. the ranger station on the east side of the lake. I've been told you can get some kind of kit there. Okay, so obviously the lake is how I get around this entire place. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. Emily says... Well, that does kind I of invite bears and birds pooping on the table. When I bought the Malone house instead of the Parks Department. Me, 
I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. I wonder if he's gonna ask me to pay the court a fine or serve my sentence. Okay. Hey, where'd you get that stupid, creepy gnome from? Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. Oh, dear. Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Wait, that's on our grounds? When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it, as it were. You know, now that I think about it, there isn't a single video game cemetery that I enjoyed being in. It's always either dodging zombies or number puzzles. Unless you're frogwares, in which case it's picture puzzles. So you didn't go out there much? Uh, no. Oh wait, there was another option I could have talked to. Talk to you later. Stay in touch. Okay, um... Well, we were told not to call, um, Bess Marvin, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot anyway to see if maybe we can get, like, an answering machine, or hear some extra dialogue, or at least get an idea of something. So, 555 Oh, wait, 6-8. Ah, I nearly missed up there. Nancy, how's it going? Hey, Bess. How'd you know it was me? Telepathy, of course. Just another of my many talents. You are so full of it. Wait. She got caller ID, Nancy. Who's this? So now, instead of hanging up on the geeks that always call her, she just doesn't answer the phone. Very funny. So what's up? Who are you two? Oh, wait. This must be Bess and George. Oh, wait. B, M, and G... Girl... G... G girlfriend? You have a girlfriend, Nancy? BM? What the f oh, oh wait, that must be, that must be stand for like George something. And I'm guessing Bess something. Uh, oh! Oh, you guys are my hint system! Okay, I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. Believe it or not, um, on some nights this house gets attacked by a pack of dogs. Sally's so scared that let me stay here all by myself. Believe it or not, on some nights this house gets attacked by a pack of dogs. Sally's so scared of them, she left me here by myself. Did you say dogs? She couldn't have George. Dogs don't attack houses. They were definitely dogs. Um, not only did these dog attacks, uh, they had glowing... Their eyes glowed yellow. Wrong. They definitely glowed green. Not only did these dogs attack Sally's house, they had eyes that glowed yellow. A bird watcher I ran into said they were ghosts. Ghosts? The man who built Sally's <laughs> place on Moon Lake was a gangster. The bird watcher said that the ghosts of his dogs show up every time someone new tries to live here. The place is haunted by ghost dogs? Like there's such a thing as ghosts. But it does sound like you've got another mystery on your hands, Detective Drew. I'm not sure if ghost dog sounds more like a sci-fi original or a lifetime special. Either way, I don't think I'd like it. There's a private cemetery in the woods out back. Malone and his dogs are supposedly buried there. Creepy. We're just gonna run through the list here, see if there's anything... I guess it's like a refresher course? And there were big paw prints by the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. And there were paw prints in the cemetery. Fresh paw prints. Are you sure you're going to be alright there by yourself? We'd volunteer to drive out there and keep you company, but unfortunately my car's in the shop, and you know what a scaredy cat George is. That's okay. There's really no room, and believe me, living conditions here are pretty primitive. Scaredy cat, huh? You're gonna pay for that remark, dear cousin. Ah! I was about to say something, but then, uh... Unless we got a Sailor Moon situation going on here, I'm gonna keep quiet. You know what I mean. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. With a boat, you could really do some exploring. Sally said you could use hers. Go for it. Got it. Uh, oh. It's like I can't reach the option. Bye, you guys. Ta-ta. Ciao for now. Mm-hmm. Very Sailor Moon. Okay, let's, I guess, go check out that, ba that, uh, get on the broat. Get on the broat. If I can get to the broat, we can get on the broat. First rule of safety, stay in the broat. Although, now I think about it, since it is daytime, why don't we go see if, uh, Camo Borgnine is up there? Couldn't hurt. 
Nope. No Camelborgnine. But he was here, and he did take his lantern. So he was definitely here after the dog attack. But not during the dog attack. Interdosting. Either that, or it's a uh, graphical error, but... Uh, I'm ca Camelborgnine, I'm sorry. Camelborgnine is just going to stay at the top of my list there. Okay, there's the boat. Everybody the in the boat. full of water. Oh dear. I need to bail out the boat. Um, whoops. I need to bail out the boat. Okay. Um, maybe we can add more water. Nope. Okay, what what is this? There's there's, there's a letter here. Which is a I need to bail out the boat. Apparently an item? All right. So, we have a boat that cannot be bailed, and we're pretty much stuck here until we do bail it. Problem. Let's go back in here. Uh, maybe I can interact with something... Oh, wait, wait a minute. No, that's the, uh, that's the thing. Um... No, that's that. Got bleach. I need a bucket. I need a bucket of something. Um. Maybe the boat is not leaking. Maybe it just has like water sloshed in it. Okay, leaves that appear. This is this is the this is the the thing that we didn't look at before. Uh, leaves that appear fresh on the spring make my birth different from the other three. When the swans drift by on shimmering blue, I'm the one who plays in the summer dew. When autumn's call brings out the deer, it is I who howls in the morning clear. And when the winter comes and the birds take flight, look to me to sleep through the long gray night. I'm sure this poem will mean something to me at some point, but for now, fuck it. Glad that we have electricity, though, somehow. All right. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with this, but I can't even figure out how to get this, because every time I spin this around, it just does the same thing. It makes one dog go to the, um... Is there a way to interact with these chains at all? I feel like that would be a way to affect it. Huh? And we'll come back to that, since I, I, I don't seem to have any reason to fuck with it right now. Um... Maybe something in the storage shed that I missed, or is now interactable? I'm not sure. Fuck it! Fuck it, right? Hmm. I can see the bucket, but I cannot get to the bucket. This is a problem. Okay, so... It's one of those games, um, maybe there was something over here under the shed? Uh, not shed, the, um... Uh, those look too rotten. Okay, I don't even know what I'd need it for. Hmm. Sound of door rattling. And then this. Which makes me think that the way to open this is... Somewhere in the woods, because it has the same marking, even though apparently George made that. Um, though George is our friend and one of the cousins. So what was George doing here? Unless this is another George, in which case, that's a terrible thing to do, is to name two characters that are going to take place in your game the same thing. When you could easily name that guy, uh, Bob. Just the name that comes off the top of my head, since everybody is Bob in the universe. As we all well know, everyone is Bob. There's always a Bob. But, uh... Alright, so we've gone... We've gone to the cemetery. And through my failings, I've gone through pretty much all over this section. So let's see what's to the left. Or the right, rather. So... Uh, we want to go... Down. I am so expecting to hear a kookaburra. Like, anytime I'm wandering in any kind of woods, I always expect to hear a kookaburra. Even if it makes no sense, I expect to hear a kookaburra. 
Oh, hello. The stone pillar, I'm guessing. Maybe I can wash you off? No? Okay. Okay, I have a key to something. I can't even seem to interact with this at all. Okay, so... Hmm. Well, um, those two are dead ends. So I don't see if there's any real reason to check them out, but... You know, why not? It's a rubber chicken. Why is there a rubber chicken in a tree? Can I flash the rubber chicken? Um, if I had a camera, I'm willing to bet I could take a picture of this rubber chicken and give that to the guy. Yellow bird. This yellow bird is a landmark. It is a rubber chicken. It's never going to move. Okay. Sound of bird flying. Oh! The rubber chicken has vanished! But that is where we will find the rubber chicken. Okay, so I guess it does pay to explore all these dead ends a little bit. Wait a minute. Shoo! Wait a minute. Shoo? Wait. Oh crap. I hate the fact that turn that clicking on the button is not turning my character, but rather making me okay, stump. Okay, there's the log. Big wait, how how did I get to the log? Bluebird! Bluebird! Hey, I'm going the wrong way. Okay, I want to plant back. I'm so I'm so lost, but I'm finding birds, so it's okay. Okay, there's the fallen tree. Okay, thank God. Okay, I'm I'm on the right path. I just need to put the light away. This way. As long as I follow this path, I should be fine, and I should be out of this stupid fucking maze. Yes, good, excellent, fantastic, wonderful. Um, let's go get a hint, because I... I'll just... Through the door, please, Nancy. Thank you. Do, 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 do. And here, and then let's go ahead and call the cousin. Oh, thank God. Okay. Bop. Um. Bop. 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 Five, five, five. 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 Three, eight, nine. Shit, I think I messed that up. I think I was looking at one number and then started do dialing the other one. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, hi, how's it going? Talk to you later. Thanks again, Nancy. Just, just saying hi. <laughs> okay, I want Bess, so I'm going to go ahead and cover up on my... Use my hand here to cover up the screen, so I'm not going to look at the wrong number. And we're going to deal five, one, five, two, three. Five, 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 four, four, six, eight. Okay. Nancy, how's it going? This caller ID stuff is going to take some getting used to. I'm here too, Nan. What's going on? Thank you, GF. I could sure use a nice big hint right about now. If you had a bucket, you could bail out Sally's boat. Check the pump beside the house. Thank you, telepathy twins. <laughs> okay. Check the pump beside the house. Bye, you guys. Don't be a stranger. Take care. Well, I, I definitely appreciate the hint system. Um, I would prefer if it was maybe in the menu a little bit, but the fact that it even exists is amazing. So, all praise be the... These look like dog tracks. There's a bucket. I need a bucket. But I have a bucket. Hmm. What are you humming about? Hmm. What? What are you humming about? Hmm. What? Hmm. What are you... You're weird. Okay, well, we have our bucket. So we have our pump. 
So now we can dewater our boat and get a screwdriver. Yeah. Okay. Um, sure. Of course, because where else would you find a screwdriver? Um, well, that's going to do it for right now. Uh, we have successfully navigated the daytime portion of the Nancy Drew mystery, which is good. So when we come back, um, I will probably use the screwdriver for something, probably on that hmm notion, and we will take a trip in the boat. But until next time, catch you later, everybody.